a presidential directive and at the point withdraw and emphasize the fact that he's the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Therefore, he can whip. And anybody who tends to say no to what he's saying, it has consequence. That is not democratic. That, in a simple layman word, is a threat. He wrote the resolution, but refused to read the resolution. Handed the resolution to Dr. Odeli to read and interject. And each time he interjects, it comes with a subtle, polite, smiling insult. And thereafter, he asked the governor to speak. Now, now let's get it very clear. What do you, if you are in the position of the governor, what will you do? Get up and go? Say no to Mr. President with that kind of subtle, but energetic threat? But one of us asked him a simple question. And to be specific, I don't care, Mr. Michael Hassan. Same should do this. Governor should do this. Governor should do that. You have not said, watch those 25 or 27 assembly members that defected from PDP to APC without consulting their constituency and constituent, what they should do. And of course, you can see the situation. The president's reaction was very clear and simple, but very, very dangerous. It was a concrete intimidation to say he's a leader. In fact, he withdrew on his seat and said, I'm the leader of the, of the APC in Nigeria. And you are telling them when you born babies, when babies are born into my family, I should ask them to go. No, they can't go. We are welcome them. And I want anybody who was there to contradict what they have said. Quite interesting uh, uh, claims made there by the former River State Commissioner for Water Resources has held several positions in River State, uh, Sir David T. Br